is up guys welcome back to pat outdoors today we're finally going to be taking out the razor ground force drift cart project i was really hoping to take this thing out yesterday but unfortunately the thumb throttle that i had on there randomly failed so i ended up just doing some testing with a foot pedal that i had laying around from one of my old coon ray kits but i rushed ship a replacement thumb throttle so we can finally test out the new 60 volt brushless motor setup that we just installed i'm also going to be swapping out the ignition wires for the voltmeter per Turbo Moose's recommendation. Shout out to Giovanni or Moose Rides. You should definitely give that guy a follow. He is very informative with the Razor stuff. Let's go wrap up this go-kart. That was certainly not one of my best wiring jobs, so I'm not even gonna go over that in full detail, but thank you, Giovanni. The voltmeter works now. I almost forgot about all the wire connectors that were hanging off here. I just zip tied them together and tied it all to the frame for the meantime, just to get it from getting caught on the rear wheel or the axle. I am gonna clean this up some more when we wrap up this project, but for now, let's go take this thing out. Definitely need a lot more traction. Well, this thing is a freaking blast. One thing it definitely still needs though is more traction and the rear brake just flat out sucks. It barely does anything. I cannot deal with that band brake setup. It doesn't seem like there's much room under the cart to fit a disc brake, but let me know if you've done it successfully and what you had to do. At the very least, I'm definitely replacing the front wheels with something with real rubber on it. I just gotta find the correct bearing set for the eight millimeter knuckles on there but as far as power the 60 volt setup is plenty for this thing and i was pretty much on half throttle for majority of that test ride i would actually have to be really slow with the throttle just so it catches traction and accelerates but if i go past half throttle while i'm rolling it pretty much just spins out immediately so i am not looking for more power i might actually step it down to a 13 tooth because this thing's too dangerously fast for its own good Man, I can't believe how much we tore up this new wheel set just from 10 minutes of riding yesterday. But I've let this thing charge for a couple hours now because I want to make sure that it has full voltage when we take it out for its new top speed run. I also swapped out the 15 tooth sprocket to a 13 tooth. I just think that the top speed was way too high um, in comparison to how much grip we have. So switching down to a 13 tooth shouldn't make that much of a difference since I was on pretty much half throttle for majority of yesterday's ride. So this should put it at a much more reasonable balance. I also mounted on the Psych Plus GPS speedometer on there just to get an idea of what the actual top speed is with this 13 tooth sprocket since this is probably how I'm gonna leave the setup for a while. Also, I picked up a brand new project yesterday. This is a completely unmodified Razer MX500. 
super clean, not a single scratch on it, which makes it a good starting point for a new project. I already have a Razor MX650. This is a 72 volt bike that goes 50 miles an hour. This is actually the first bike I had on this channel, but it's currently going through some changes. I recently rode Nate W's MX500 that has a Soshin motor, ride or die forks, RSF wheels, and so on. And that thing makes stupid power. It inspired me to build another Razor. Let me know what you guys would like to see on this one. Here's what I really like about the Razor Ground Force Drift Cart. I can just keep it in my trunk full time and just take it out. <laughs> then I can just mess around whenever I see an empty parking lot like this. Showing 61.4 volts, pretty much full. Right, let's go see what the new top speed is with the new 60 volt setup. I need to do something about my brakes. I could not stop without using my shoes over there. <laughs> All right, new top speed so far is 32.3 miles an hour. I probably could have gone faster, but <laughs> these brakes are not working at all. <laughs> God, this thing is way too sketchy when you're going over 25 miles an hour. And keep in mind, this is after I swapped it out to a 13 tooth sprocket already. So this thing probably could have hit 40 miles an hour with a 15 tooth sprocket. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that because I'm not gonna be taking this thing out again until we have a new set of wheels and tires for the front, or at the very least, a better brake situation because this is just simply way too sketchy. If you guys enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you like this kind of content, want to keep up with any of my projects, such as my electric dirt bikes, my Talaria, my Razor projects, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.